in the last session talking about um, the appendix B on uh, what, what was the actual name of the topic spherical spherical harmonics which are the solutions to uh, the associated Legendre um, equation uh, which I'll abbreviate because it's a bit of a mouthful uh, to the um, ALE associated Lagrange equation or ALE, AL as in alcohol um, so we made the assumption that uh, to solve that equation we would let the solutions take the form of a weighted sum of powers of x and we derived this this equation where these these a's here they are the coefficients of the powers of x <coughs> so this would be the coefficient of x to power k plus 2 and this would be the coefficient of x to power k and the ratio of these two is this so we have a, a recursive relation so if you know what a k is um, you can bring this over to the right hand side multiply it by these and you get the value for the coefficient of a k plus 2 so you can solve your equation once you know what your your a's are uh, you just plug them into the, the weighted sum which which are of powers of x which is the solution to your ale a l e uh, associated legendre equation all right but uh, having a look at this there's there's a problem um, which is the following as as k becomes large right this this term here effectively becomes one in the limit why is that well, uh, lambda is a constant, so you can figure about lambda as, as k becomes very large. This one here you can neglect. So effectively, in the numerator, you have k squared. Okay? And similar logic, uh, when k is large, one is negligible. So effectively, the denominator is also k squared. So as k becomes very large, this ratio here becomes 1. Okay? So effectively, these... Uh, two coefficients become the same you know, as, as the ratio goes to one. So, so effectively, you know, they're, they're just they're just equal. So that means um, you know, for your solution to the AL uh, associated le grand le gendre, sorry le gendre, uh, equation, um, you we you may remember from earlier session we took to be the form of a to the alpha uh, sigma and then you had the coefficients these coefficients here but uh, as k becomes very large uh, these these two become effectively the same so you can bring out uh, the coefficients here uh, outside and then you're left with this uh, term you know just just the sum of powers of x uh, in in these square brackets now the k's you may remember uh, go up in multiples of two. You know you go k naught two four six and so on, or one three five seven and so on. All right. So uh, this uh, this you can write you know in this in this form. You know it's just uh, one plus x squared plus x to the fourth and so on. Now this is just this. That, that's from say uh, real analysis you know, analysis of real numbers you go so this and this but uh, x x can uh, like uh, in other expressions uh, we had x here being cos theta so uh, this x can acquire the values of plus or minus one but uh, <coughs> if this x here is plus or minus one and you're adding infinite number of them this this term here diverges and that's the problem so uh, this this term here, with this diverging, this diverges. And <laughs> if anything's a no-no, uh, a taboo, in uh, in physics, it's infinities. Physicists hate infinities, right? So we have a problem uh, that this this can diverge. Um, so what to do? 
Well, uh, well, obviously, stop it diverging. Uh, so make it converge uh, to some uh, finite limit. So how do you do that? Well, a strong clue is have a look. Have a look, have a look at this term here. Now you've got something minus something. So if if we can put restrictions on the value of lambda, you know. Uh, now what is lambda? It's the eigenvalue of 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 uh, which operator was it? I. Th it was the eigenvalue of the total momentum squared. I think that was right. And mu was the other one, um, the z component of L hat. Okay. So uh, these are eigenvalues for L L squared. So we we may be able to choose values of these lambdas such that this, you know, uh, as k becomes large enough, uh, this term and this term cancel. They become equal to each other. And if that's the case, then uh, your a k plus two would would be equal to naught. And therefore, a k plus four would also be naught because this one is, well, well this one would be k plus two, and and so on and so on. So uh, for the rest, um, your a k's, as, as the k's get higher and higher, they all stay at zero, right? So you then get a finite series, uh, a maximum power of k, uh, in in this solution here for your for your p, the solution to your a l a l e. Okay, so that's that's the trick. All right, so uh, let let uh, lambda be um, take the form of l into l plus one. So uh, uh, so these these are integers. So uh, now remember there are two cases we had for uh, alpha here. Uh, there are two solutions we got from the earlier session, either alpha is 0 or alpha is 1. Okay. So if alpha is 0, L, L takes these form, th these numbers, and if alpha is 1, L takes these numbers. This, this revision from the you know, earlier session. But if we, if we let L, uh, lambda equal L into L plus 1, then as k, as k gets higher and higher, you know, it, start, it can start at 0, but, and then case 1, case 2, etc., Eventually, it'll get up to uh, when k equals l, and then you'll get l into l plus 1 minus l into l plus 1, and hence 0, and hence this is 0. And that, that way you get a finite uh, weighted sum for, for your p. Right? So this, uh, this, this uh, value here, I mean, you, you're summing from k to naught to, uh, to l. Finite, so your uh, s your sum of uh, weighted powers of x is then converging. It's not a uh, it doesn't explode. It doesn't um, it doesn't diverge. All right. So that that's that's the trick to to do that. And of course, like I was saying before, uh, once your first uh, coefficient becomes zero, then uh, so if a k is zero, well then a k plus two is zero, and so on. Okay, so the, all the remaining ones, higher ones, uh, become those coefficients become zero. Right? Now uh, these p's here, which are the solutions to your uh, to what? To the al? Or I, I think maybe just to the uh, to the more limited, uh, simpler. Um, Legendre equation. I, th I think these p's. Yeah. So this this expression here is actually I think to the Legendre equation, not not to the extended uh, associate associated. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about what associated means uh, more specifically in more detail uh, in, in a couple of sessions from now. In fact, uh, there's quite a long uh, appendix. Uh, we've already had. Uh, several sessions on it and uh, there's this one and one two at least two more so uh, yeah. uh, there's quite a lot of mathematics in uh, the 
Legendre equation and, and the associated Legendre equation, ALE. All right? So uh, now these, these P's here, where? Here. Uh, they, they get the name of Legendre polynomials. And polynomial, obviously, because you've got you know, many terms, they're, they're uh, a weighted sum of powers of x. So that's a, a polynomial, you know, many terms. And they're called Legendre polynomials because they are solutions to the Legendre equation. Right? Now, I've put a little in the corner here, I put uh, HW, homework. Uh, actually calculate uh, the first few, um, the, you know, these, these P of L's. And why the L here? Well, uh, the L refers to the L here, which is for your lambda. You know, there, there are different solutions. You know, there's, there's, well, there's an infinite number, in fact, of uh, L's, possible L's you could have, and hence the infinite number of uh, lambdas. So you'll have an infinite number of these Legendre polynomials. Okay, so calculate the first few using, using this kind of uh, recursive relation. So uh, let, uh, well, hmm, you can't see it. But uh, so the, the beginnings of the next sessions, it says choose, choose the overall factor such that PL of 1, so instead of X, PL of 1 is equal to 1, uh, just for convenience. So, um, so that, uh, so P of naught of 1 should, should be 1, and uh, this, this 0 here means L is 0, L is 0. Hence, lambda is zero, and uh, if, if if lambda is zero, what's k? Hmm. Well, uh, if for homework, you know, use use the recursive relation and so forth, and derive the values of the first few Legendre polynomials. So p naught of x is one, p one of x is x and p2 of x is a half of 3x squared minus 1, and, and so on. Well, I'll read them all out. I've only written one more. So p, the p3 of x is a half into 5x cubed minus 3x. Okay, so uh, for homework, uh, calculate, you know, calculate the first, through, first few uh, Legendre polynomials. Right? Uh, next session. Uh, I'll talk a bit about a, a generator. There's, there's a way to generate these polynomials, these, these P of L's, PLs. Uh, and then we start talking about uh, the associated Legendre polynomials and uh, the associated Legendre equation. Okay?